Joffy Joe, what's really good? In the building, man, what's poppin'? Mel Corn in general, what's good? I know y'all all checked out the show last night. I'm just being real. I know y'all checked out the show last night on 050. If you did, it was a banger, and it revealed a lot of things. What? Did I say something wrong? It revealed a lot. I ain't gonna hold you. It revealed a lot about the so-called OGs. You understand what I'm saying to you niggas? Y'all come on in the building. Hit the like button. I already know. Y'all know it's going down. Let me holler at you, Mikey B. This is nasty work, man. I got to be real. Nasty work. Nasty work. So, I got to say this too, right? First of all, my name would never be involved. And I've always said that. If y'all go back to the old shows on 050, I've always said my name won't be involved in no snitching. No, 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 no. Homo Mookish activity. We got to say it a certain way out there. You know how YouTube rules it. You know how YouTube rules it. No, no. We, my name would never be involved in certain activity out here. Facts. Because that shit can leave a stain on you. Like Ten Toes Tribe. You know how you tried to leave a stain on me, but I had to, you know, I had to jump out and make sure I shoot that shit in the head one time. You heard? But I got to be real. Mikey B. Mikey B, man. Nasty work, bro. Nasty work. We had two. Yo, yo, we had we had zip with the drip in the building last night. And we also had disco in the building. Shout out to those brothers, man. Hey, look, I got nothing against Mikey B. I got nothing against none of these dudes. I'm just keeping it real. But how are you an OG of it? Yo, look, bro. We gotta be real, y'all. Whenever your name comes up in in, in, in homosexuality activity. Yo, come on, man, Mikey B. Like, let's be real. He wasn't even answering the questions. Let's be real. He was going around what we was trying to get at. Let's call it what it is, y'all. It was nasty. Yeah, it was nasty. Mikey B is on a rainbow, man. I, I'm just keeping it real. From what I've seen, I'm just giving my honest assessment, honest opinion. Whenever you have two different guys coming up and say, man, come on, man. You was involved in almost activity. And they even going as far as saying you got hit in the. I got to be real. He got hit from the back. What? Never trust a man that got hit from the back. I'm just going to put it like that. Y'all don't trust a man that gets hit from the back. Yeah. Zip with the drip set it and disco set it. Yo, Mikey B, you in the blender, nigga. That's what it is. You mad. You, you mad. mad. I got That's you in a fucking blender. The Your co defender in them. The they tried to you in your the fucking blender. You you them, nigga. Mad they mad at you. You, you mad. mad. I'm on your ass, nigga. You mm. taking up for that fucking You can't rack. say nothing. Get let's get them out of the Let's get them out of the Let's get them out of the blender. Let's get and yo, all I'm trying to rule. Yo, yo, Mikey B, you can tell Mikey B, that's you. You can tell him that. China Brim, you just asked Mikey B. Yo, yo, China Brim, you just asked Mikey B, what's his name involved in any homo activities up north? And El Myro, his name was involved in homo activities. That's a fact. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a fact. It's so dope. And he's not the only one that said that, y'all. Disco said that too, man. And Disco went as far as saying he was getting hit from the back. I'm just being real. How is these niggas OGs out here? You niggas disgust me, man. I gotta be real, man. I gotta be real. Y'all disgust me, man. So this dude was running an army. How did you even get blooded in, homie? How did you even came blood? Dead ass. And you involved with home... I'm not, I'm, allegedly, I got to say allegedly, we don't have that affinity proof, but I'm looking for the guy. I, the guy that accused you and said that he's seen you, I'm looking for him. Tell him, everybody tagged the guy, because I've been looking for him. I want him to pull up on Harlem Legend TV. I'm just being real. Tell me what you've seen, homie. Is Mikey B involved in homo, homo activity, uh, homosexuality uh, activity, man? This is, 
I'm just being real. Let's let's go back in the video, okay? Let's go back in the video a little bit. Man. Let's go. Let's go up. Let's go back to where uh when where, where, where disco pulled up, man. It got nasty, man. It got nasty, man. He was getting hit from the back, man. Like I, I, that's nasty, man. And his name was known for that up top. You understand what's going on, y'all? They saying his name was known for that when he was up top. Disco did a lot of, you know, cursing and shit like that. What the fuck the nigga trying to do? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> None of them, man. Honestly, really, you talk. I don't care. I don't know the Bimmy nigga. Like, that nigga ran around with LL. LL Kute is a fucking rat. That nigga got robbed in the rooftop back in the days. Ain't nobody. Hey, hey. You know what, though? He does have a point there. Like, that's a point, too. And that we all making out here. Yeah, like, let's be real. But, Mikey B, are you involved in sexual activity? Hold on, y'all. I got to get to this, man. I got I to gotta get to this. If I say nothing about that, nigga, he's a legend to niggas. So, let's get that right. Let's. That's his right-hand man. He used to bring that nigga to Rackets Island. LL Cool J. Let's get that right. Go into his case. So, let me get back into this clown-ass nigga. Your girl ain't your girl. Shane is not your girl. That's not your wife. Other allegations. You understand? Other allegations that he sneaked another homie. See, a lot came out last night that a lot of people didn't catch. So I have to, I, I just have to cover the covers. You think what I'm saying? Pause. I got to cover the covers. This go pulled up and said this man was in sexual activity with men. And he's an OG? Y'all some nasty motherfucker, man. Look, hold on, man. I ain't done with him. And, the, and the come to find out, he snaked his homie and took his girl while he was in jail. Listen, y'all. What? That was the hunter what? wife. Listen, what? let me tell you what this snake nigga do. What? This is this is what, what? these fake big homie Yo, niggas disco. do. Yo, disco. Yo. Yo. Hold on, I gotta go past this. All right. Yo, Mikey B, Mikey B, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Take your glasses off first, please. <laughs> you can't look like time that was Mac Baller. We had niggas that was up. He said he kept going around the subject. Up there and said that. Once he went up there and said that, then also him. He came up. Oh, it's about to get dark. What's up, nigga? What's up, pussy? Why you, you fucking, saw, nigga? nigga? You a faggot, you bitch, nigga. You saw, Why you nigga? fucking, you bitch, nigga? You saw, Yo, where did my mother? When you come to Queens, nigga, I'm up. You a bitch, Mikey. Well, I gave you a hammer, you bitch, nigga. You ain't use it. You. I don't want to. Why you held me down? Why you on me? You was on Let's go with this. I'm Why you on to... me? You, you got what? Why you on me? You said you on me. You was wow. just up there saying you on me. You said you gave me a razor, nigga. Oh, they hey, talk yo, crazy. pussy. When you was going at it with Raymond on them, you fl- okay. the laundry cart. Do you want to go with that one, you nigga. faggot, nigga? You said they attacking the max, and you jumped in the fucking laundry cart. You bitch, nigga. Fuck is you what? talking about? Oh, somebody Ooh, told you son. that lie. You're a stupid liar. Shut up. Nigga. I'm telling truth. And you, where the fuck you get a laundry cart in the yard, you dickhead? You a fuck. <laughs> Why <laughs> nobody knew you was a homo, you bitch, nigga? I don't know. Look at this, man. Listen. Hey, yo, hey, yeah. Yeah. Did Mac Moe and them call you a homo? Did you send shots at Mac Moe because he saw you fucking yeah, a homo? Yeah, shoot Mac Moe. Oh, my God. Did y'all hear that? Pay attention now. They, they released some the secrets of these guys. You didn't say no, you yeah. faggot. Never. You just submitted it, nigga. You just submitted it, nigga. Hey, yo, hey, yeah. hey, yo, did Mac Moe and them call you a homo? Did you send shots at Mac Moe because he saw you fucking a homo? Yeah, shoot murder. Did you, you see you fucking a homo? Yeah, Elmire, shoot Mac murder. Elmire. Yeah. No, Why nobody knew about your homo? Why nobody knew about you as a homo? Why nobody knew you was a homo, you bitch, nigga? Did I shoot Mac murder? No, you didn't, bitch, nigga. nigga you did it behind the gate, saggy shit. When oh, he was so on quarantine, listen, you talking to me, you bitch, nigga. When he was quarantined, you went to the gate oh. and tried to scratch him, you faggot. Right down the face, nigga. Uh, you, uh, why you ain't waiting oh, to get off? Don't keep lying. Why, why you ain't waiting to get off? You suck dick. Yo, yo, hold him. Learn <laughs> everything I love. Learn to everything. Hey, yo. It got nasty, so that's the second guy. OG Blue from Queens. What's poppin', man? Oh, man, OG Blue done set out a buck. Look, he's starting it off, y'all. What we doing here? OG Blue from Queens TV. Yo, salute, man. Salute. Go Make sure y'all go subscribe to Hanging with the Homies. I believe that's his channel, Hanging with the Homies. Is that your channel, OG Blue? But they can go subscribe to you, man. Queens, get the money, yo. Big bro in the building, <laughs> yo. What's poppin', yo? Hey, yo. 
What's going on with Mikey B? I ain't gonna lie. What's going on with Mikey B? Yeah. Stop trying to hide it. You never trust a man. He from Queens. OG, 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 Queen. Uh, uh, come on now. OG Blue, he from Queens. What's going on in Queens, man? What's going on in Queens, man? These dudes, man, they either ratting. Yeah. Mikey B was taking it from the back. That's what they say. You never trust a man that got hit from the back. That's a word of advice. I'm just keeping it real. They saying this. That's, that's two different guys. Zip with the drip pulled up and said he got hit. That's your brother, huh? Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. OG Blue said that's his brother, y'all. That's his brother. Okay. Okay. See, these old, these older guys, they would never see it our young, the youth way. They would never see it our way. And I ain't even the youth, man. I'm 42. It's disgusting what's going on out here, man. Mikey B, first of all, he looked like a total idiot up here. He looked like an idiot. He wasn't answering none of the questions that dudes were throwing at him. I ain't gonna lie. And how do you even he wasn't even explaining it? I know he's over on the chicken. He's seen me about to go live. He had to do something. I'm just being real. He had to do something. He had to go live, OG Blue. Facts. He's seen me about to kill him. He had to go. What else is he going to do? He going to sit around and play these games? Let's be real. You had two separate people pull up and say you was messing with them boys. And y'all niggas call these niggas OGs, man. He's a solid brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Silent farts. That's what his name is. He got silent farts. They done broke him in. Let's be I'm convinced. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, look, man. Y'all can say and feed the public or y'all want the bullshit, the deflecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The doing up. I see body language. I see how niggas be moving. And he didn't seem too well to me, brother. I'm just being real. Mikey B didn't seem too well to me. Yeah, he was getting that B2K treatment. Facts, Eric Lewis. He was getting that B2K treatment, man. I'm just being real. Like, these dudes call themselves big homies, but why is your name even involved in that? How? How is your name even in the mix of anything that has to do with homosexuality or... How? If you are OG, your name is never supposed to be even mixed up in that. And they saying that Elmira, he was known for that. What? Man, call a hotline, y'all, man. 717-680-8157, man. If you feel any kind of way, man. Like, we got to hear from the people on the on Mikey B. You did bad, man. This is bad, man. And he didn't even clean it up last night. Like, the man wasn't even cleaning it up. It just was nasty work all the way around the board. Like, Go check it out. 050 the movement. We was up there last night. Zip pulled up and Disco pulled up. And said in Elmira, he was known as, yeah, one of those. One of those. We can't, we can't call it, we can't call it lies. We gotta be real, man. You know, I'm only here to keep it a hundred, man. Man, I got to get them something else, man. Ugh, Jacob Cherry. Jacob Cherry. Jacob Cherry. I got to be real, y'all. Jacob Cherry, man. Uh, 1090 Jake, man. Let me holler at you, man. Let me holler at you, 1090 Jake, man. Yo, look. Hit the like button, y'all. 204 in the building. The numbers are going up steadily. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notification so you know when I'm going live, man. It's 1090 Jake a rat, y'all. I mean, we've been down this road. Three. Two, three times already. Now, I got to be real with y'all. I got to be real. I'm hearing that this was a grievance. Okay? They break the story all the I got to play it from the beginning. Shout out to Byron Blake. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Byron Blake. B-Y-R-O-N. You're Blake. B-L-A-K-E. He actually has everything we need to know. Or, unless that is that what we need to know? I, I'm not sure. But from my eyes, I'm just going to keep it real. Let me play this for y'all, man, because this gets deep. This gets real deep. It gets nasty. I mean, ain't 1090 Jake a blood? A legal blood. I'm not saying being blood is illegal, y'all. Okay? I don't want to get us all from the wrong foot. 
being an actual gang member is not illegal if you're doing something positive, right? Right. So he has a YouTube page. The man gets paid. He doesn't have to be in the streets, right? So is he a Rizat? I'm going to play this for y'all, man. Pay attention to this, man. Jacob Cherry, or 1090 Jake, as he has become known to the world, has taken the hip-hop game by storm, captivating the urban audience by releasing court documents and questioning the street integrity of some of the rap game's most promising yes. acts, such as Finesse Two Times, Florida Rappers, Real Boss. So, so far... He does do that, y'all. He, I mean, he's fucked a lot of lives up, man. Like, let's be real. On the end of that, he don't, he don't fuck a lot of these rappers' lives up. You know what I mean? I, I got to be real. I got to be real. I got to keep it 100, man. I can't lie about certain things. He has fucked a lot of niggas' lives up. But just dropping, you know, paperwork on these guys, right? But what happens when the rabbit got the gun, man? Like, you know what I mean? What, what, what happens when, it, when the tables is turned now, right? And they got him on the news. We got him on the news already. We already we already went at that. Let's be real. We already said something about that. This is something totally different now, y'all. They first of all, we got him on the news, right? And then we got him on a, a state. I don't know if it was a state now. I don't want to say the wrong thing up here, right? But we got him on actually, it was at his aunt's house or whatever. Somebody broke the window. I, I don't know. I don't know. The guys went that way with BB got whatever. I don't know. Let's be real though. And at that time, I called him a rat. I say you a rat, nigga. Facts. Now let's look at Exhibit A. Okay, Let, let's look at this, y'all. Pay attention, man. Hit the like button. Justin Richie, spot him, got him, Gunner, and even Florida's own Kodak Black. Facts. We have questioned whether or not this quest to prove that rappers are not who they say they are is racially motivated especially considering Jake's failure to cover the cases of white rap artists who have had run-ins with the law, like g Easy, who was arrested Eminem. for cocaine possession, or Eminem, who was originally arrested and charged for pistol whipping a man, but would later plead out to possession of a firearm for two years of probation. Okay, who's this? That leads us to the story of Jimmy Horry, the mm -hmm. black inmate who terrorized 1090 Jake during his stay at Lancaster oh, Correctional yeah. Institute. Jimmy Horry was originally sentenced for burglary and grand theft and given probation. However, a violation of that probation would see him sentenced to the Department of Corrections for three years. At the time of his sentencing, the court entered an order finding that Horry was a violent felony offender of special concern and did not pose a threat to the community. Among the factors considered was the fact that both the defense and state agreed that Horry had mental health issues. Okay. Corey would find himself incarcerated at Lancaster Correctional Institute as well. Same While we are not sure exactly what happened, 1090 Jake would claim that Jimmy's actions were a result of a previous attack perpetrated by one of Jake's guys against a member of the Zoes. What we do know is that on the morning of January 16th, 2014, an officer would claim that around 6 a.m. he observed inmates Cherry and Hoyer fighting. Inmate Cherry armed with a rock and inmate Hoyer armed with a lock. Okay, so we do have this, y'all. We do have this paperwork here. Let me bring this up for y'all real quick. So we do have this paperwork. I've been trying to blow it up. I don't know how, you know, if it takes up. All right, yeah, we good. We got the paperwork right here, y'all. See his name at the top, Jacob Cherry. Statement of facts. Inmate Cherry. Uh, Jacob, uh, Cherry Jacob, uh, got all his numbers and shit. He's being charged with one through 10 aggravated battery to attempt to aggravate a battery on an inmate, which is a violation of the rules of, uh, prohibited conduct. So, yeah, so he actually got in trouble for some shit. I was assigned as the comp, uh, complex for supervisor at approximately 600. Uh, oh no, he just was saying what he's seen here. Okay. Okay, let's get let's get back into it. He's just saying the cop is basically just saying what he's seen here. Let's see. In the sock, the officer would claim he ordered both inmates to stop and that both complied. A simple fighting ticket, basically. Yeah. Randy Jake would go on to claim that the contents of this ticket were not true. He would state that the Blood Brothers told him not to fight back and to lay down and just bleed, so that when the officers came, he would look like the victim and not have to move out of the dorm. Review of 1090 Jake's overall inmate record shows that he was, in fact, housed at Lancaster Correctional Institute on January 16, 2014. 
review of his inmate disciplinary actions also shows that on January 16th, 2014, he was in fact charged with possession of a weapon, battery assault on an inmate. While looking at Cherry's inmate classification record, I noticed he had not been a maximum security classified inmate prior to this incident and had in fact only been in prison for a few months. 1090 would claim that this incident resulted in 60 days of segregation for him and the others involved. And his overall inmate record would show that following this incident, he was transferred to a different facility. A few weeks after this incident, on February 4th, 2014, a handwritten inmate grievance was filed by inmate Jacob Cherry. The okay. Oh, so, C076. So hold up. He's confirming that it is a grievance, y'all. Yeah. He's confirming this. You heard? Like, like I gotta be real out here, y'all. I gotta be over here, honey. So the narrator is confirming a handwritten grievance. Now let's see what this grievance says. Let's see what this grievance says, bro. Let's see how we feel about this. <coughs> Five, two. The grievance would tell 1090 Jake's version of the story to the warden of the prison, and this is what it said. On January 16th, 2014, I was sitting on my bunk when inmate Jimmy Horry, K08763, hit me with a rock and sock on my head. Whoa, 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 Wait a minute, man. I've been in prison, y'all. I mean, look my reports up. I ain't never go through no shit like that. Hold up. He said, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. He's confirming that, you know, so I know, all right, so if you get in disciplinary action and then a jail, right? And I know how this goes already, right? So they're going to ask you what's your, I'm not writing down none of that. Like the inmate came in my cell, hit me with nothing. Nothing. We had a fight. It is what it is, and I'm keeping it moving. But why would he give that kind of stick? They're going right into it. I'm already looking at it like, come on, man. And you're a blood member. Like, show me these other blood niggas that's making statements. I got to see this. I got to, and I'm sure there is. But, I mean, in a grievance, I'm not going to talk about the other inmate. I mean, I don't, I don't see what was the point of him telling what the other inmate did to him. Hold on, man. I ain't done with this dude yet, man. We gotta figure this out, man. Hold on, man. This is nasty work, uh, Jacob Cherry. Let me let me see. Let me see, man. This is this is a member. The officer came in and cuffed him, then checked all the inmates and found Mark Cherry was also assaulted. More staff came and then cuffed me, Mark Cherry, and Jerry Lewis. We were all taken to the back room of B Dorm. Inmates Horry and Lewis were said to be the assaulters and me and Mark Cherry the victims. I then witnessed Sergeant Martin start beating inmates. Hold on. Yo, salute, 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 salute. Welcome to uh, Hall of Legend TV, man. State your claim, man. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. We got to get this right, man, because this is, this is a good one right here, man. We got to get this right. Salute, salute. Welcome to All Mega TV. State your claim, good brother. I got a few things to say, man. This is going to fuck everybody up. Whether you've been in jail, got family members in jail or not. Yes, sir. The, the, the nigga running around now trying to say that he said exactly, he said the demon, that's what the CEO said, right? Yes, sir. Now, 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 now you, you just read the CEO joint. The CEO said he saw one with a rock in the hand, one with a rock in the hand. He told the niggas, to stop and they both stop, right? Yes, sir. So it was no need to tell the police that, like yeah. in, a, in agreement. Now check it out. Check, no, 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 no. Check it out, though. Check it out. Yeah, go ahead. Grievance, right, they don't say that. And, and his grievance, he don't say that. He said that he was sitting on his bed and looking came and cracked him in the head. That's what he said in his grievance. Yes, I got the guy, the yeah, narrator. So, 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 so he said so totally different to what the but what the fuck the CEO said. He he he, he, he said the whole thing. How it started. I'm sitting on my bed. And then he came and cracked me in my head. And then said the nigga governing your name, ID number and everything. Sure did. Sure did. I'm with you, nigga, brother. I'm nigga, with you. Man, nigga, 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 you a rat. If, if a nigga pop on you, whether the CEO see it in the camera tonight, you're supposed to say it didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you cooperate in the story. Because, because now, look, 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 for example, if I, if I pop, if you, if you pop, you know, I don't mention, right? Yeah. And then, and then you get a ticket, 
and you call me down, and you, and you go to the deep, you go, you, you go to the disciplinary hearing, and call me as a witness to say that, 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 um, that you didn't do it, I'm supposed to go down there and say, nah, I don't know him, he ain't do this to me. Yeah, 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 yeah I don't even know this guy. So, so now, so, so now, if homeboy wanted to fight his ticket, he, he gonna lose anyway, because this nigga wrote his the same homeboy he did. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, so now, the other thing, the other thing I, gotta, I gotta speak on, Mikey B, Mikey B, Mikey B. Yeah, Elmira. Let's listen, talk about listen, Elmira. Listen, 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 listen. This is a fact. The kid, Matt Moten, which is Matt Moten from Brooklyn. Okay. That nigga was getting busy. He was getting busy. Right? Oh, you was in there with uh, these guys. Uh, Hold on, let me confirm. You was yeah, in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. When, when, when Matt Moten was in Cat Taxi in the early 90s, and he had a death before his arm, and he was going to war with adolescent homies in Cat Taxi. Oh, you one right. of them guys. Okay, you can't break it down, brother. Yeah. So, so, so check it out now. Why Matt, why Matt Murder pick out of all the homies in the fucking jail system? He picked, he picked a lie. On Mikey B. Out of all the big, out of all the big homies on the wall, Lacey, all these other things with big, with big ass names, he, he, to this day, he running around saying Mikey B got fucked in the butt. Damn. Damn. He didn't say Mikey B. He didn't say he saw Mikey B fucking him, nigga. He said he saw Mikey B getting fucked Is Mike, ass. let me ask you That's this. Let me ask you this. Is Mike murder out? No, no, no. He's not. He in jail. What that like? He, 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 he in jail. Damn. Damn. I was hoping I could. Because, because he was a, he had, look, look, look Matt, Matt Murder was an adolescent. He had fly. He had nine in the light. So, you know, you know he, he's still running around picking on all these years. So, you know, the light behind him, you know, you keep getting, keep getting, keep getting hit. Oh, now, 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 look, now check it out. Yeah. Eight, eight Mag Murder, right? Yeah. Come on, bro. What, what he did was a coward move. Mag Murder was on long term cheap lock. <laughs> Mikey B, Mikey B, my, hold on, hold on. Mikey B didn't wait for him to come to population to get it on with him. Mikey B, Mikey B put his hand in the gate and scratched him through the bars. Oh, word? He's passing through the bars. That don't count. That's that don't count. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, this nigga was telling a bunch of. That's not pitting on. That's not pitting on. You strike the nigga through the gate so that way a nigga can't get at you. Mmm. I, 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 I salute you for the backstory, uh, homie. Stay up. All right, appreciate that. Yo, welcome to Home Legend TV. State your claim. Make sure your phone is nice and loud. Go ahead. Hey, what's good, bro? Yo, what's happening? Yo, what's Gucci, man? How you doing, man? Yo, I ain't, ain't nothing. Yeah, I'm good, man. Yo, listen, man. My name is Jugget. Yes, sir. Okay? My name is Jugget. You know, and I'm known all in the bubbles, bro. And I did 22 years in the can in the 80s. Okay, bro. You dig what I'm saying? So all this stuff that you talking about, I'm familiar with. Okay. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? All that other say, I would say stuff. All this shit surrounding Denny and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been listening, man, to the car podcast, all these podcasts and all this, but I did 22 years in the can, in the state. Okay. You dig? Okay. I had 20 to life. Hey, let me ask you this. Like let me ask you this, right? Huh? So how do you feel about the Bimmy situation? Because you've been around now. You're a guy that's calling up here. My, listen, I know a lot of those dudes in this circle. I know all them dudes, bro. All them dudes, Hayes and Jack, all them. I know everybody. I went to school with them dudes, bro. You dig what I'm saying? So, so like what, I said, so, you know, a lot of dudes, they can speak, you know what I'm saying? But trust me, I've been around these dudes for a long time. Okay, so you what You dig was, what I'm saying? I went to school. What was but your... But now, with that situation... Yes, I want to know this about... This is my this. situation. This, this is my feeling with that, right? I've seen the paperwork, I uploaded the paperwork, and I got the paperwork. Yes, sir. My thing is, is this here. Niggas is bossing. You dig what I'm saying? We talking about a time, man, where niggas is bossing, and you dealing with a crew. Yes, you dig sir. what I'm saying? You fucking with a crew. Niggas is getting mad money. You dig what I'm saying? At that time, plenty money. You know what I'm saying? At that time. In fact, niggas was saying, man, nobody was selling more crack at that time than niggas is the within point. You dig mm. what I'm saying? That's a known fact. I get it. You know it. what I'm saying? You got a lot of Brooklyn niggas, man, that was fucking with them. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, Pappy come from my man neighborhood, my part of town, Crown Heights, Gunsmoke. You know what I'm saying? On the block. I can you dig it. what I'm saying? I so I know who he is, personally. You dig what I'm saying? I know the niggas he used to fuck with. My man Giz and all them niggas. I know all them niggas he used to be with. You know, I can tell you when he used to ride, when he first started fucking with the niggas when he was riding around with the two-tone motherfucking man, um, the two-tone man, um, joint back in the days with gray and silver joint. 
All you right. Know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, one of them joints. Let me know how, you feel about, how do you feel about this paperwork, though? Like, how do you feel about it? You down well, I'm going to tell you this, man. It? One thing I'm not going to do, you think what I'm saying? This yeah. is what I'm not going to do. You know, one thing I'm not going to do is this. Is that when you're dealing with an investigation, especially that, first thing, man, you don't get involved in that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a high rolling nigga, bro. I'm not no little small nigga. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a nigga that's in the street, you don't get involved with some things. You think what I'm saying? First and foremost, that's a no no. Okay. I'm not giving no statement and no police, none of that shit, bro. Thanks. None of that. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? I'm referring that shit to my lawyer. You come knocking at my door, even if you know, man, that I was there when this shit happened. Refer whatever you got to say to my lawyer, and I'm coming with my lawyer to the pieces. I'm not giving no affidavit about nothing. Affidavit. That no How did you feel that. about that when you heard that the man signed the affidavit, brother? But see, now my thing is this here. When you sign an affidavit, you sign an affidavit, man, to what? I don't have nothing to do with, with this. It. So why am I signing anything? There you go. So my thing is this here, man, is that, you know, I'm reserving all that. But like I say, if you a nigga, you in the street, you already know, man, that there's certain codes that we live by that we don't, man, you know what I'm saying, disregard for no motherfucking body, bro. Right. And the main thing we don't do, man, is that if I see a crime, bro, right there in front of me, I'm not a civilian, I'm a nigga in the street, bro. We need to define what criminals are, bro. Yeah, a right. criminal is a person that's engaged in criminal activity, bro, whatever it might be. So if I man define myself as being that and I'm in the street getting money, ain't no way in hell, bro, I'm going to be, man, you know what I'm saying, in the street. Do another shit. Fact. No, bro, you don't do that. You right. leave that shit alone, bro. You let the police solve their own shit, bro. Let me ask you this. How you feel about 1090 Jake's situation right now? Because 1090 Jake got a whole situation. My thing is there. this. I've been watching, bro, listen. I watch all of them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, all them niggas, man, on all, all them niggas, man, all of like, all the buds. I know the main niggas, bro. Okay. Big kids, big kids, all them niggas, man. CK, I know all of them, man. B.O., I know all these is my homies, bro. I grew up with all these niggas, bro. Since we was young, bro. Okay. Coming up. So all these niggas, man, that have been on these podcasts, talk, I know all of them. You know what I'm saying? And like That's I up. say, my man, B.O., and up, these niggas are stand-up niggas, bro. These are stand-up niggas. Last question. You know what I'm saying? Last Not question. all these niggas. All these niggas are stand-up niggas, bro. Last question. You see what I'm saying? Do you think like Benny's I said, right? Do you think it was, it was right? nothing that... Chad's man knew about all of this. Okay. His name, man, came up. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, man, that were getting money, you know what I'm saying, for a minute doing shit, bro. Okay. When I was in the can, this nigga came in, Chad came in with his with graph and the conformed to Arthur Kill, bro. These niggas was getting money. Okay. So what I'm saying is, whatever's in the light, man, is eventually going to come to the, is whatever's in darkness will eventually come to the light, bro. Do you, you think, think what I want to ask you, I want to ask you, do you think he's a CI? Uh, from all your years, from all your years of just watching these guys this, and being around these if, guys. If I'm the only listen, if I got a code name, man, and the motherfucking only person that know the code name, man, is me, bro. So, everybody know music. You oh, think what I'm okay, saying? Okay. That's the unique shit, bro. Okay. You think what I'm saying? That's unique. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows, man, who that name was. Okay. You know, at that time. It's just a fucked up situation, bro. You think I'm saying so, all, the, all the way around the board, bro? It's a fucked up situation. Hey, I appreciate you. Know what I'm saying? Really, I, really bad, bro. I appreciate you for pulling up, sir. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Appreciate it's really, really bad. It's just certain things, man, that we have to know, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you make mistakes, man, when you're young. But the thing is, it's just here, bro. We older now. You know what I'm saying? All of us know if we made a mistake, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a mistake, bro. You know, you can't. You can't, man, motherfucker. I'm not saying that the cancer no whatever. Wait, 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 you know what I'm saying? Then you own up to that, bro. I think you know that's what, what I'm saying is I the people are saying to feed you, bro. Brother, all it is to me is past demons starting to shine now. Past yeah, demons. bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. But, but my thing is, is this here, bro, is that sometimes we just gotta own up to certain oh, shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit just didn't fly from nowhere. And my thing is, is this here, bro. That whole shit could have been, man, alleviated, bro. 
All you had to do is go tell homie, yo, listen, bro, yo, that shit is not correct, bro. You don't call nobody no rat unless you got paperwork, bro. I mean, that's the uh, first thing. Uh, so that... when you call a nigga and his whole family a rat, bro, you leave a motherfucker no other chance or no other alternative, man, but to do what he got to do. So it, all, it, up, bro, it all started. Saying? So you're telling me it all started from 10 toes down? It all started, man, from him. Yeah, putting out bullshit. He put some shit out there. He ain't have no business putting out there. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I say, the thing is, is, this is that when you did that, you know what I'm saying? That's the motherfucker, man, you mad at, bro. Facts. That's the nigga you mad at. Salute, brother. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Man. I'm not going to be as mad at the nigga who got the paper. I'm going to be mad at the nigga, man, who put me on the spot. Well, well, let me ask you this. Why why, why you not mad at the nigga that, that all right, so if I got a rapport with you, right? Like, just hear me out. Hear me out now, right? I got a rapport with you. I fuck with you. And then you, and I'm telling yeah. you, I'm telling you about this nigga. Yo, this nigga just put out some fake shit on me, homie. Yo, let your man know. Stop putting out fake shit on me. The nigga even put fake rape allegations out on me. So but what you I'm got telling, the number. You got a direct number to so, the nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so listen. Man, so, listen nigga. so listen. If Benny pull up on that nigga platform, wouldn't you take it as a nigga supporting that nigga? Pretty much if you bring a nigga Thank you, brother. Thank you. Better. That's all I got to say. Salute to you, brother. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you... Yo, salute, salute, salute. Welcome to Home Legend TV. State your claim, man. What's the world, man? I'm sitting here watching all these old niggas play themselves on the internet. I'm telling yeah. you, I'm telling you, boy. I'm telling you. I, it's looking nasty for Mikey B out here, bro. Nah. I, yeah, from an internet perspective, I can see. Man, my name never been caught up in no sexual allegations with no, no other male. I've never been caught up in no snitch allegations. See, niggas are trying to put fake shit on you. But that shit don't work for me. Yo, yo, Harlem, I've been told then, right? I've been told this without movement, right? Yes, sir. Right? The nigga, uh, Ten Toes, right? Put up some bullshit with you, right? Yes, sir. Just totally fraudulent, right? Yes, sir. And he also lied to y'all. And I played it yesterday in my yesterday video. I showed the other day. I showed y'all that the nigga lied blatantly to back <laughs> Demi. Man, I know that, but I want to show you how, how shit moved. Okay. A lot of people was jacking that. You get it? Yeah, a lot of so people anybody jacking. can say some shit. A lot of people going jack. You know what I'm saying? But, but, like, but. Don't but, make it true or false. I don't know. I don't know if Mikey B was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know that if he did or he didn't. No doubt. No doubt. I just know it. I feel, the same, I feel the same way. But when you were OG, I'm going to ask you again. When you one of them niggas, you can proclaim it to be one of them niggas. Because a lot of these OG niggas get on, they, they make me sick. Okay? I'm going to be real. They either was that's, doing dope, the they either was doing dope or they was messing with them boys. It was one or the other. That's, that's from every OG so far that I know, that I interviewed. I, I've been, you know, I've been through the trenches with these niggas. I know what's going on. So from everybody that I'm seeing, they either was involved with them boys or they was up north sniffing dope. Let me know. Now, a lot of these niggas will hit the bag for real. It's nasty work. <laughs> it's nasty work. Like, and, and, and now they got the sexual bag. allegations coming. I never even looked at Mikey B like that. I'm like, nah, Mikey B, he do his thing. Uh, he Yo, homie, let, let me tell you, though. Know, this is a fact, too, though. Like, I don't, if, if them allegations were like official, homie, it'd be ripped up with poke. Like, his whole homies would have been getting out. His bed would have been hard. I don't know. I can't say that. You know why? Because I exposed Pimp. I exposed a, a big homie named Pimp, and he got away with it for years. Niggas ain't touch him. Uh, some of them niggas knock off. See what I'm saying? Too. How does it work? <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Some so how niggas, does the system work? Knock on but too. that's what I'm telling you. How as does... As like, Ted goes down, right? Like, the kid shash. Yeah, he's a weirdo. Like, bro, I'm just telling you, see, but you see what I'm saying, like, though, bro? How does the system work? You, Let's not you make it that. worse. You know what I'm saying? He making it work. I yes, he told, is. I my friend, nigga, yo, 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 chill, bro. I don't need you to speak for me. <laughs> well, homie is making it worse. Man, I appreciate you for calling up, my G. All right, my nigga. Salute. Yo, look, man, I got to keep it real. Most of the OGs that I interviewed or something, something is out about these niggas. Like, even if a nigga throwing dirty in their name, nigga, if you was respect like that and was one of them, niggas wouldn't even throw no dirty in their name. Welcome to Home Legend TV, man. Salute, salute, man. State your claim. Yo, what up? What up? What up, Home Legend? Yo, what's poppin', my G? How you, man? My man, I'm good. Yo, I called the other day. Uh, um, you know what I mean? About the other thing, right? Yes, and sir. I called back on 
Yeah, yeah. But yo, my name is Mookie Cake. I heard you say that's a crazy name. That's my two sons. They got me. My okay. oldest son is Mookie, this, and the young one is this Cake. That's how I got that using name. Okay. But listen, man. Okay, salute. salute. I, I don't know nothing about Mikey B's situation. Right? This, yeah. this, I'm going to speak on this 1090 Jake thing. Okay, right? let's get to it. I don't know what to do, but look, I'm 58, right? So I come up in the 80s and the early 90s, right? I've been in this joint, been in the street all that, got shot all that, put work in, got work put in, you know how the street is. This is how bad it is out here now, let you know. Yo, it was a time when the stuff that we see now, this paperwork that we see on niggas, official. The shit that we, the stuff that we see on dudes, and we still got a question? Is it real, or is he real, or is he yeah, whatever? Yeah, because cause you can make this shit up now these days. You can make this shit up. This shit but is real. Yeah, but I'm saying, once we see it's official, I'm not saying, yeah, I, we got fake quick work, but I'm saying when we know that for a fact this is real, and we still got a question, we're not, we're not questioning. I'm still questioning. We're, not questioning, uh, me we're questioning what we know to be real. Like, you know, we already know, we, listen, we seen uh, um, that nigga on the news talking about um, telling on the cops, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. bringing the joint and all yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. thing yes, yes, where sir. he was in Boston or whatever. But I'm saying, if somebody got the paperwork of him put, giving a statement in the joint, I was yes, on my he gave phone. A statement about, he, he gave a statement about <laughs> two guys at one time. I guess they broke his window or whatever it was. He was at his aunt's house or something. I don't know. He gave this big story. They let him rock. He rocked out. And then they got him on a newscasting thing about a dispensary thing in Boston. He rocked out. Now we got him on a grievance. And in point blank period, he basically said that, well, I didn't even get through the whole story. Let's get through it. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I've seen it. But I'm saying, you know, when you're in the gym, listen, when you, when, you, when you go in a war, when you fight in the gym, I know a nigga that had seven, eight stab wounds in that back. And the gig come, what happened? I fell. I don't I think fell. gang members yeah. should be making statements. Let, let me just put that real clear to everybody out there. I don't think yeah, gang members yeah. should be making statements. I'm just being real. That's just no, me. Made, no, no, listen. He said it to somebody. I'm it's a grievance. Like, now it's a like, grievance. Like, they telling me this happens in jail all the time. But my belief is that gang members, if you just tough gangster, you you was able to even join this goddamn gang, even able to get into this gang. How? If you can make a statement on another inmate. Money. The same way the same way they rock with these dudes in the street. A bag. A bag has changed everything, homie. You, you talk about and listen, a lot of old dudes they're responsible. And and um and, and, and really by not saying nothing, you supporting it. I don't even know how to be a real nigga, man. I'm sorry. You know that. You don't make no statement. I, I, I was on my bunk and I got hit in the head. Nah, what happened? I fell. Anything. I had from my head open. What happened? I fell. So I'm just saying it's so bad out here. And listen, I said I was going to stay off this YouTube stuff. So my homie be like, man, fell. Man, just, just stay, stay on this chat. I, man, I love when you pull up, man. Pull up anytime. Talk your shit, man. I appreciate you for calling in, brother. My man, and you keep doing your thing, man. Yeah, I know. You know. We're going to keep talking with Israel. That's doing. all. We're just going to keep talking with Israel and call it down the line. That's all we're doing over here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Keep it up, my dude. Salute. Salute. Yo, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's get back to the story. We ain't off you yet, nigga. Hold on. Hey, Jerry Lewis. Hold on. Joe. You got to go back a little bit. Sergeant Martin starters and me and Mark Cherry, the victims. I then witnessed Sergeant Martin start oh, no, 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 no. We were all taken to the back room of B dorm. Inmates Horry and Lewis were said to be the assaulters and me and Mark Cherry the victims. I then witnessed Sergeant Martin start beating inmate Jerry Lewis. Eventually, Sergeant Martin, Captain Sapp, Officer Coy, and a few other officers that were called for emergency traffic beat inmate Lewis and inmate Horry. Captain Sapp then told us, I don't care who did what. All of you are getting charges if you write anything but what I say. We'll beat your fucking ass till you need to go to the hospital. 1090 Jake would then write, I was then forced to write that I was assaulted and fought back in self-defense, which is untrue. Officer Coy, who wrote me two DRs, possession of weapon and assault on an inmate, lied in both statements. He says he witnessed me assaulted with a lock tied to a sock and says I struck another inmate with a rock in my hand. 
I was clearly hit with a rock which broke off of my head into two pieces and spread pebbles of asphalt all over my property. Hey, I'm a victim in this case. I was assaulted by an enemy. Hey, yo, hold up, man. Now, I understand him because, I mean, I guess this is the gang rule. You could tell on the police. I mean, you could. I understand him telling what the police said. Now, I want to know how does the gang members feel about that? The Suwoos, the, the, the blood gang. You heard it? I, I just want to know. Yeah, I want to know where where does the line fucking stop? Like, where does the line, you know what I mean, draw it? I'm just being real. Where does the line draw? This is a statement. This is somebody's narrating this. I'm clearly the victim. I got hit up beside the head by a brick by. Who did he say did it? Hold up, y'all, man. This is nasty work. This is nasty work. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man, because y'all playing games out here, man. I got us were said to be the assaulters and me and Mark Cherry, the victims. I have came and then cuffed me, Mark Cherry, and Jerry Lewis. We were all taken to the back room of B dorm. Inmates Horry and Lewis were said to be the assaulters and me and Mark Cherry, the victims. I then witnessed Sergeant Martin oh, on January 16th, 2014. I was sitting on my bunk when inmate Jimmy Horry K08763 hit me with a rock and sock on my head. This was during morning shift change. The officer came in and cuffed him, then checked all the inmates and found Mark Cherry was also assaulted. More staff came and then cuffed me, Mark Cherry, and Jerry Lewis. We were all taken to the back room of B dorm. Inmates Horry and Lewis were said to be the assaulters and me and Mark Cherry the victims. I then witnessed Sergeant Martin start beating inmate Jerry Lewis. Eventually, Sergeant Martin, Captain Sapp, Officer Coy, and a few other officers that were called for emergency traffic beat inmate Lewis and inmate Horry. Captain Sapp then told us, I don't care who did what. All of you are getting charges if you write anything but what I say. We'll beat your fucking ass till you need to go to the hospital. 1090 Jake would then write, I was then forced to write that I was assaulted and fought back in self-defense, which is untrue. Officer Coy, who wrote me two DRs, possession of weapon and assault on an inmate, lied in both statements. He says he witnessed me assaulted with a lock tied to a sock and says I struck another inmate with a rock in my hand. I was clearly hit with a rock, which broke off of my head into two pieces and spread pebbles of asphalt all over my property. I am a victim in this case. I was assaulted by an inmate, then threatened and blackmailed by staff. This is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all didn't hear that just now, man. I was assaulted by an inmate. Is that snitching? Yeah, I, I, I just got to understand this shit. I was assaulted. Shout out to C. Franklin, by the way. Facts. Shout out to C. Franklin. C. Franklin, what is this? What is this, C. Franklin? I'm just keeping it on it. The mayor of Brownsville, what is this? Did y'all do this in jail, OGs? Did y'all say, oh, no, I got hit over the head with a brick? And in the beginning of the statement, he said he got hit in the head by, this certain, by the dude. So he told on homeboy. Now, I understand if he's trying to go against the police, okay? Yeah, black power, let's do it. Let's shoot at the police. Let's make sure, like, we, we get it done. But at the end of the day, come on, y'all. Come on, man. Y'all buying this shit, man? Y'all really buying this shit like this? Like, I, I'm not... He made a statement. It's a grievance. That's what everybody wants. It's a grievance. But he's talking about inmates in this grievance. I, I just got to call it down the line. He's not only talking about the police. He's talking about inmates the second grievance I've written. I believe the first was thrown out. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. did he, did he bitch it? Like, yo, come on, bro. Now you bitching. Now you bitching. You in the joint, nigga. You heard? Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all the tough guys go, right? All the tough guys go to jail. All the real gang members behind the wall. Has he been, look, I need somebody to answer this for me because I don't know if he's in the building. If he is, man, he can hit the like button too, man. Has he been blood from the beginning? 
of this? Like, has he been blood from the beginning? Like, was he blood already? Like, I, I don't know. Like, at this time? Or and how did you even get in with shit like this? These niggas ain't doing background checks no more, y'all. I'm just being real. You niggas ain't doing no background checks. You letting anybody in the, in the building. I'm the big homie now. I keep telling y'all that. Harlem legend is the big homie. You niggas check in with me now. Y'all letting anybody in here. The bees is for sale. I'm just being real. You got Mikey B getting bent over up north. Yeah, or allegedly. Or his name getting tossed in. He getting bent up off up north. Bimmy, an old school nigga from back in the days. Niggas look at him as a stand up nigga. He got three to life. Paperwork coming out, not your name on it. I just don't understand how do the real, the real niggas get mixed up in shit like this. Help me out. Help me understand it, y'all. I'm just being real. Is these niggas real gangsters? Or they ain't really never did nothing. And that's why niggas feel like they can test these niggas. And I'm not even talking about Jacob Cherry. Let's be real. He's been caught three times this year. Niggas sweep it under the rug. It's nothing. But now you niggas checking to me. I'm the big homie. Fuck it. Y'all niggas let anybody become big homie out this motherfucker. Nigga, you got a couple dollars. I'm the big homie. You niggas report to me now. This shit questionable. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. Allegedly, Mikey B got he was getting done. Yeah. Nigga was tearing allegedly. Pause. And nigga was tearing him up. Now we got sexual allegations coming out on certain niggas. These niggas is weirdos, bro, to me, man. They they real niggas to y'all and they weirdos to me. Salute, salute. Welcome to All Legend TV. State your claim, man. Oh, man. Yo, what's poppin', homie? Man, you out here, man. Yo, look, man. I gotta be real, man. It's nasty work out here, man. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is nasty work, Mr. Jacob Cherry. Oh. By an officer. I have informed my family who will be contacting Tallahassee for an investigation and getting a lawyer if I'm not released from confinement. I have been assaulted, threatened, and blackmailed and am pending CM, which is close management, for charges I never committed. Please help me. Thank you. Based on this grievance, it appears that 1090 Jake is trying to tell the warden, hey, I am a victim. I was assaulted. Didn't even fight back. The only reason I said otherwise is because your officers threatened me. As I mentioned earlier, Jake claims he was told by members of his gang not to fight back and play victim so he can stay in the dorm. However, from personal experience, I can tell you most officers write it up as a fight no matter who did what. I myself served time in Menard Correctional Center, a maximum security prison in the state of Illinois that has housed notorious inmates like Fred Hampton, Homer Van Meter, Robert Ben Rhodes, Reginald Potts, and even Drew Peterson. I can almost assure you that if a member of a gang is attacked by a member of another gang, no one is going to tell him not to fight back or to just play victim. I can also almost assure you that no inmate in a maximum security prison is going to co-sign a gang member writing a grievance stating that he was assaulted. Look at this shit, man. Facts. Assaulted by a member of another gang. Because now you're basically alerting the prison authorities that there's a conflict between these two factions. That brings unnecessary shakedowns and cell searches. As y'all can see, I've been in a situation where I was caught red-handed fighting with my celly by the CO in a maximum security prison. I didn't go in there and say we were fighting because he saw us fighting. I said we were horse playing. You don't want something you said to be the cause of the whole joint going on lockdown because the prison think they got a conflict brewing. Now you see here his custody status changed February 1st, 2014. Prior to this incident, he had never been a close management or close custody status inmate, which is basically maximum security. 
the grievance was filed February 4th, which is just a few days after his custody status was upgraded from medium to close. That change in his custody status resulted in a transfer from Lancaster Correctional Institution to Appalachian Correctional Institution. And maybe that's what he was trying to avoid. As for Jimmy Horry, I can't say what effect this encounter with 1090 Jake and this grievance had on him and his situation. Wow. However, I can tell you that he has since been released. 1090 Jake claims that his motivation for exposing rappers is to combat the negative influence rap music has by showing that the rappers who influence the gangster behavior aren't as gangster as they portray. What's your take on that? Man, man, we got to be real here, man, y'all. Like, yo, hey, man, I ain't gonna hold you, man. This is one of those, man. Like, we got to be all the way real here, man. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, like, yeah, yeah, and that guy actually broke it down in his terms of being locked up and how it works. You heard? So, I mean, you gotta use your own analogy. I'm not here to judge. I'm only here to call it down the line. And at the end of the day, man, gang members don't open their mouths. Gang members don't open their mouths, man. I'm just being real, man. Yo, call the hotline, 717-680-8157, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's figure this out. This is nasty work right here, y'all. Disgusting work. It's 1090 Jake a rat. Did he do too much talking in that grievance? They telling me it was a grievance, y'all. It's a grievance. Okay. Did he do too much nasty work? Jody Mack was popping in the building. Did he do too much? We got Bimmy name popping up in paperwork. Come on. Come on. The real tough guys has been over. For real? Look at Mikey B. Allegedly. What? He on his channel right now lying to y'all? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was something that somebody made up and just said, and uh, this was this, this was. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everybody he's come across, like, like, like the man said, he decided to pick Mikey B this time, right? Yo, salute. Welcome to Home Legend TV. State your claim, man. Right? What's poppin'? What's going on, man? I'm live. I'm up, I'm up here, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're live. How, how you doing, man? It's DJ Don P from Kanaki, man. You, you know what? Home Legend, I just want to show some love to you first before salute. I speak on a topic. Salute. You I appreciate know, um, you, King. I appreciate you. That's what you're doing your thing, man. I ain't going to lie. And, and you know what? I feel like nobody could really defeat you. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. Persona is official, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. See, you, like I always tell, hey, listen, bro. Like I tell everybody, real quick. Like I tell everybody, right? You can niggas gonna always make videos on all of them. Cause I make myself relevant. You understand what I'm saying to you? So I'm always gonna be everywhere. Niggas is always gonna make videos on me. I'm used to that. They gonna say anything they gonna say, but make sure it's real. You see, that's all I ask. Make sure it's real. That's all. That's Salute, though. I appreciate that, bro. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm gonna make a little joke real quick. Yo, when you laugh at niggas, oh my god, it make them mad. It the make them pissed off. I got one of the, <laughs> I got one of the biggest laughs that makes people so mad. Could I be out so for this to be like, nah, you ending the career. Let me ask you this: Have you followed Mikey B, brother? I don't know nothing about nothing. I just watch you and I just listen. Okay. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I oh, you don't really watch these other guys. I'm Good. I know what's going on. I'm following. Yeah, good. Up. Don't watch these other guys. They no good anyways, man. Salute, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for pulling up, man. Definitely, man. Salute. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. These other guys, they phony. They're just phonies, man. There's a lot going on with these dudes, man. Look, I showed y'all yesterday what this coward did, right? With, with Tim told did. guess what? He said nothing. About, he was live yesterday and said nothing about me. He said nothing. Look what, look what he said about Bimmy, guy. Talking to you, this shit gets spooky and scary outside. It gets scary. Listen, let me tell you something. Bimmy was in jail in 1994. Bimmy was in jail in 1994. Man, god damn it. Are y'all hearing what the hell I'm saying? He was in jail in 1994. Talk back to Tim. I'm talking. He had a 93 number. Look, see, look, you, you know what y'all let Zip do? You'll let him. You'll let him. Oh, 
No. No. Talk about what we letting you do, sucker. Because look, Bimmy actually went on a world tour after that, right? I don't think Ten Toes was paying attention. He actually puts himself on the scene of being there. Get off your knees, niggas. You know what I mean? So, boom. I'm go back 35 years ago. Go, you froze? Nah, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Oh, oh. So, I'm going to go back 30. Nigga, I can't see you sitting still, man. I'm like, like, nigga, you got a picture up? Nah, that's me. Go ahead. So, 35 years ago, a, a dude get murdered on a block. Him and a female. A female, she got hit, but the dude died. But the dude was attached to two dudes and queens. That was, you know, that was real niggas. Right? So, dudes retaliate for the dude that got killed in the car with the girl. Right? The girl from Brooklyn. Right? I don't know her. I know the dude that got killed in the car, but I don't know her. Right? So, <coughs> one summer, I'm, I'm about to play ball. I'm in the park. My game, I'm a half court. You know, the dude that did the killing, he's outside the park. I'm in the middle, right? All we hear is shots. Pop, pop, pop. Homie get hit. My niggas surround me. Push me out the park. I see a certain dude kneeling who I, who I learned later on who implicated me that I was there when he got arrested because that was his man that got killed in the park. That was his right. man. I right. don't know that dude. I don't know him, but I know that dude because he used to work for me. Right? So I said, yo, come with me. Come with me. So he's looking at me like he see a ghost. He's scared like, I don't trust this nigga. I ain't going with you. You know what I mean? So nigga ain't coming with me. Cool. We left. Weeks later, I'm in my building. I come out. Police waiting for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and guess what? Ten Toes said nothing about that, y'all. Yeah? So this is what I'm saying. Always watch these niggas like that, man. These old niggas is no good, man. 1090 Jake, man. Yeah, to me, to me, yes, you're considered ratting. That's considered ratting doing that, bro. I don't care if you put another inmate. I understand you're trying to defend the inmates now when you're saying there. The police did it. The police did. They forced me to do this. Police. Yeah, it's us against the police in jail as well as other niggas, other Negroes. But at the end of the day, we against the police, nigga. That's what you're supposed to be against. I'm not faulting you for that. But at the end of the day, you said too much on this grievance. And for a gang member, by the way, don't forget what Preem's son said about Bimmy. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. What's done in the dark will always come to the light. <sighs> the saga continues, man. The saga continues, bro. Can't make this shit up. Wow. I want to see how niggas going to try to slither their way out of this. You can't slither your way out of something that's black and white, my boy. It's over. It's over. It's over. Nasty work out here, man. I, I'm just, I'm done with the gang, like even the gang life. You know, what I mean? when it comes to this gang shit, when it comes to you goofy ass niggas, you old heads, you niggas is washed, man. Like I'm being real, Mikey B, fifty plus. All these niggas fifty plus. Jacob Cherry been giving us some vibes from months ago. Like he been giving up these type of vibes. So how the fuck are we even debating? Is this nigga working with them people, man? I know I can't say that. I don't want to say working with them people. I'm going to say he's given us too many instances to where he's involved with certain shit that it don't look good, man. Hold on, man. Salute. Welcome to Home Living TV. State your claim. Yo, what up, man? Good afternoon, Harlem. What up? It's Romeo from, from Southside. Yo, oh, man. Southside in the building, Queens, man. Stand up, man. What's happening? Southside. Southside, the block is high right now. Southside, high. Yeah, yeah. Black Boulevard, high right now. Yo, check it out. This is the deal. The deal is that real gangsters don't make statements. Everybody knows that. That's, 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 that's the rule of thumb. Period. Period. They, we don't even talk about behavior because real gangsters 
don't make statements. This is some things that I want to bring out. Number one, Cream had a beef with E Money Bags. E Money Bags allegedly killed Black Jess. Did Cream make a statement against E Money? You know why? Cream is about that life. Even Flippy said that. He's a real case. Cases don't do that. They handle it in the streets. They get, they get their revenge from street tactics. That's a real case. This dude, Ben, yeah. tell me what happened. He got out of jail. He, he sold to an undercover agent, okay. which means they don't need witnesses. They got the police, the government uh, 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 employees saying he sold to us. He got out in about two and a half some years. When he came out, a lot of suspicious behavior started going on surrounding him. Of course, he had a Supreme Team label on him, but he was a different man, like a like a Donny Brasco, like a like like an agent. But no one would ever believe that because he he talked that talk. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So this is the deal. Something came out, but I could I can't put my my my, my notary on it that. If you ever notice in the Nas Supreme Team documentary, one of the top Supreme Team agents who's not even locked up is not me. And they even blurred his picture out. They blurred, they blurred their picture out. Okay. Why is that? Because they got their eyes on him. They smell a rat. If it smell like a rat, it look like a rat, mm. normally it's a rat. All right, so this is what's going on. But I can't, I can't sign off on it because I don't really know. Allegedly, Prince wife got a phone call before the feds came to pick up Prince. Prince was sleeping in the bag. Yes, sir. And allegedly, like I said, I can't put my fingerprints. I can't sign off on it because, you know, this is what a lot of closely knit people know. It was them on the phone calling two o'clock in the morning saying, yo, 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 who's that? That's Prince wife. Um, Prince Dave? And she said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to come up. And he went, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And the conversation ended. 15 to 20 minutes later, the feds, FBI, surround Prince's house. Prince never saw Liberty ever again. He's in jail ever since that day. Wow. So now, everybody checking their paperwork because they feel the CI has infiltrated the Supreme Team. We didn't even know it was him. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel no like three team after, members should be making statements and affidavits on nobody? Yeah, after, especially that's the rule of thumb. The streets don't talk. That's right. What after. made this man? What made this man go to someone's lawyer?